Hello one and all and welcome to the Math Magic Show. In this one we're going to do this limit. Can you do it? So pause the video and try it, but I'm going to show you the solution. But try it. <laughs> Take a look, friends. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of x raised to the square root of x. First stage in the process is you can write this as the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side and just write that as follows e to the ln of x and then multiply by the root of x. This is allowed because the e and ln functions are inverses. So you can rewrite this base x as e to the ln of x. It means the same thing. Now, another thing is the same as follows. This e function, this has a limit down here. You can just slip the limit into the exponent because the e to the whatever is continuous. So you end up with e to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of ln of x multiplied by the root of x. Continue, friends. So now you have to work out this part. Right now there's an issue. You see, the issue is this. ln of x as x approaches 0 from the right side, it looks like this, okay? ln of x goes down towards negative infinity over here, whereas this, the square root of x as x approaches 0, it goes like this, okay? It goes towards 0. So you have this kind of competition here this is going towards negative infinity, and this is going towards zero. So you have this negative infinity times zero business going on, okay? So what you can do is apply a common trick, which is to be right using a property of fractions. So you're going to have e raised to the, let's see, the limit as x approaches zero from the right side. And then it's going to be here ln of x divided by... Well, you can write it this way, x to the negative one-half. That's an allowed property. The reason is, this is x, the root of it, so it's really like x to the positive one-half, you see? But then, that's equivalent to writing x to the negative one-half in the denominator of a fraction by the basic properties of fractions. Alright, so I'm assuming you, you know that, given that you're doing this kind of, you know, level of math. Alright, now, take a look at what happens here. Well, here now, if you take the limit as x goes to 0, then this expression on the bottom, it's equivalent to this. Look, it's e and the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side. And this is like ln of x <laughs> divided by 1 over x squared, correct? It kind of looks, well, x to the 1 half, rather. It looks like this, okay? Now look at this. It looks like this, okay? Now look at this. ln of x... This function in the top up there, when you graph that, that looks like this. So that's the function that's going towards negative infinity, like this. But the bottom, which is the 1 over the x to the 1 half, if you plot that, it kind of looks like it's doing something like this, you see? So now you have infinity up here and then negative infinity down here. Basically, let's see, negative infinity divided by positive infinity. So you can do this with L'Hopital's as follows. So that's why I'm writing all the way this way because there's a lot of writing involved here. So you're going to have basically e to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side. Right, this plus here. And then differentiate ln of x. When you do that, that derivative, separate from the bottom, the derivative ln of x is just 1 over x, which, can, which you can write as 1 over x this way. And then the bottom, you have to differentiate 1 over x to the 1 half, or equivalently x to the negative 1 half. So that's going to work like this. You're going to bring the negative 1 half down this way, and then you're going to have x raised to the negative <laughs> 1 half minus 1. All right, this is not a question for the faint of heart, but we can do it. Continue. So it's now e raised to the limit as x approaches, let's see, 0 from the right side, and then it's 1 over x, and in the bottom, clean that up a little bit. So uh, this one right here, you can write that as 2 over 2, right? So just rewrite that as 2 over 2 right here. So 2 over 2, which means that this will become here negative 1 half, and then x raised to the negative 1 minus 2. So that's negative 3 halves this way. Now, Keep in mind that this e, let me be careful, like this e is like all of this stuff is going on in this exponent of the e, okay? Let me exaggerate the size of e, like this, this is a giant e, okay? All of this is in the exponent. So now what you have is this, giant e, all right, and then the limit, 
as x approaches zero from the right side. And here you gotta operate on this, clean that up. So it's one over x divided by negative one half. Now this is x to the negative three halves. That's equivalent to writing in the denominator with the two under that second division bar. That's the same as writing x raised to the third, like this, the square root of x raised to the third, you see? Or if you like, you don't have to have the square root symbol here. So in other words, just write this as x raised to the three halves, like this. I hope you can see that. So it's three halves up there, okay? All right, continue. Hmm. So now, you know, I'm going to continue all the way down here. So it's going to be this, in other words, now. So e raised to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side. And then you're going to have 1 over x times... So now you're going to keep change flip here. <laughs> so it's going to be this. It's going to be negative 2 divided by... Okay, so now this x with the 3 halves is going to go here. So x to the 3 halves up here. But it's negative 2. And in the bottom you have 1 if you like. And now you continue. So it's going to be e and then this limit as x approaches 0 from the right side. <laughs> Alright, now you have negative 2 here. And then you're going to have x to the 3 halves, and then as an x to the first, right? But because it's in the bottom, it's like you can do x to the 3 halves minus 1. So it becomes x to the 3 halves minus 1, like this, you see? Good progress. So e raised to the limit. Okay, as x approaches 0 from the right side of 3 halves minus 2 halves, right, with the x and the negative 2. All right, let's finish this up all the way down here, friends. So this is now a big E raised to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of negative 2 raised to the what? Well, hmm, x to the 1 half. All of this is an exponent. So now you have E to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side. And now from here, you can just do direct substitution. Basically, you have negative 2 times the root of x, right? That's what it amounts to, believe it or not. So that's just direct substitution. So you just have e and then e to the negative 2 times the root of 0. But that's just 0. Therefore, you end up with e to the 0, which is 1. Wow. Okay, so as you can see, it's a pretty intense and crazy amount of work. <laughs> Just to get a simple answer of one. I haven't skipped any steps. I've tried to be really careful here to get all of this done. That's a beautiful question. It's a beautiful problem. Checks everything, right? In terms of your understanding of calculus. I mean, you've got exponentiation going on, right? So the relationship between E and LN, you're checking. Right? It's checking, for example, whether you can rewrite using fraction rules. It's checking whether what else you can differentiate different kinds of expressions and all of that uh, the answer is one at the end if it's interesting please leave a like please subscribe leave some comments down below leave some suggestions for future videos i like this i'll see you in another one